What's good, Skins fans? Sorry for making a really late, late video on the last preseason game against the Ravens. We lost 20-7. to It wasn't really a game to really look at ex ex besides Dwayne Haskins' performance. Had a great touchdown pass to Steven Sims, who made the team, and we're going to talk about that eventually, and who got cut. So, anyway... Um, yeah, the By Mar Byron Marshall had some good runs. Defense didn't look that great. I don't really, there wasn't really anything to look at from the Ravens game besides that Steve Sims catch, which, which like Dwayne Haskins underthrew and Steve Sims caught it. That was pretty, pretty good. That was pretty impressive. So anyway, um, we have to talk about the 53-man roster that came out two days ago. So people that got cut, of course, Josh Doxson, the trash man that he is, he finally got cut. We were trying to trade him, but then again, no one would want him. No one would give a bag of Doritos or even a bag of footballs for him. That guy got cut. Samaje P. Ryan got cut. And Byron Marshall was the fourth running back over him. And then Byron Marshall got cut, and we picked up Wendell Smallwood, the former running back for the Philadelphia Eagles. A lot of people are saying Wendell Smallwood and another guy, his last name is Hester from the Eagles. We brought him in just to let them, sh so they can tell us the Eagles playbook from the offense and defense perspective. But also, maybe some good talent. Um, Wendell Small Smallwood could help with the special teams and could be a good addition to our running core, which is arguably the best in the NFL right now. So yeah, Wendell. Samaje Pierre got cut. I think he got claimed by the Bengals on waivers, so that happened. Good luck to Samaje. Josh Doxson. That guy was a bust, man. That guy was more of a bust than Bashad Perriman for the Ravens. And Bashad Perriman couldn't catch. I think we just didn't use Do Josh Doxson correctly. Then again, we have to look at some flaws of our ourselves. We had the quarterback situation with Kirk, with Alex. Alex didn't want, it was checked down Smith. He didn't want to pass it to maybe Josh Doxson that much. One thing that we could say was Colt tried to give Kirk, uh, I mean Josh Doxson some chances, which happens sometimes, but. And then Kirk wanted to trust Josh, but he just couldn't trust him all the time. And, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So, hopefully Josh Dobson does good somewhere else. I mean, I, I this is just me. When an when a NFL player leaves the Redskins, you just want to see them do well. And that's just every NFL player. You never want to wish bad on someone. So, good luck to Josh Dobson, the trash can. I have a trash can right here, as Ed Oliver says. But, anyway, um, yeah. So, Josh dobson has gone... Byron Marshall, I mean, Byron Marshall got, made the team, but got cut, and when no Smallwood took his place. Um, Cam Sims, he didn't make the team. Going back to the Ravens game, Cam Sims, I didn't watch the game because I was actually busy with something in the first half. Cam, I actually slept, I took a nap, and I was supposed to wake up before the game, but I slept through an hour in. Supposedly, Cam Sims had three drop passes, and they were, like, wide open, and I was, and then... I guess that's why he didn't make the team, which is a big thing. We did pick him up, and now he's in the practice squad. But then again, any NFL team could pick him up from the practice squad. So that's pretty huge. I really wanted Cam since he had a great uh, camp this year. I wanted to say that he was probably he could have been our first uh, first team. Uh, he could have been our number one wide receiver this year coming up, but him being on the practice squad, I guess not. So when it comes to wide receiving core, we have Paul Richardson, Terry McLaurin, Kelvin Harmon, Trey Quinn, Robert Davis. And the sixth person, was, oh, Steve Sims. So, and Dwayne Haskins did say, he was said that Steve Sims was a young Antonio Brown, which is which is what any any quarterback would do, give their wide receiver some confidence. But Steve Sims could help in the special teams, a punt returning, kick returning, and become a good wide receiver. We don't know. This wide receiving core has potential. Hasn't been proven, but it has potential. And hopefully this offense can revamped and everything with Case, and now the offense alignment at left guard is Eric Flowers, the human turntable. And I'm looking at all of his videos, and he said that he would give a, an A for Eric Flowers' blocking ability. I saw some of his highlights. He would, like, pancake people when it came to blocking. Pass protection isn't that great. But if he if he gets, like, better at it, hopefully he'll progress and he'll be better than Sean Laval was ever was. And, yeah, so, I don't know if I'm missing anyone in the 53-man roster. So, Samaj P. Ryan, Cam Sims... Josh Dawson, those were the big names. Cole McCoy didn't make the team. Jalen McClellan did get cut. There were some uh, number changes, of course. Jimmy Moreland, Cole Holcomb. Jimmy Moreland went from 25 to 32 because Chris Thompson is 25. Cole Holcomb went from 57 to 55. And I can't, I, I can't remember some other people. So that was pretty big news. Some other news around the NFC East. Ezekiel Elliott still hasn't – the supposedly contract – talks have been getting closer but still hasn't happened and we played Dallas week two at home home opener so that might, that might be big 
yeah, guys. I mean, we do play Philadelphia next week. It's going to be a tough game in Philadelphia. Hopefully, we can pull it out. This defense is looking great, man. I'm telling you. We have a top five. Okay, not, if it's not top five, it's top ten defense automatically. That's pretty much like all I wanted to talk about. We could talk about the fact that... um. Oh, what else, what else can we talk about? Cause I'm sorry, guys, for not making a video soon. I've been busy. School work. School started last week. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. And I volunteer on Sundays uh, at a as a teacher in a Sunday school. So, that's pretty cool. Um, That's pretty much it, I think. Did I miss anything? Defense, offense, special teams. Yeah, there's nothing really. I'm not really missing anything. Oh, a Trent Williams saga is still going on. Inevitably, the past two months, it's been still going on. So, a couple of days ago, yesterday, I think yesterday, the Houston Texans traded, or the day before yesterday, the Houston Texans traded Jadavian Clowney to the Seahawks for, Seahawks gave them two players and a third round pick. Are you kidding me? Oh my, the, the, they try to do that same, he, they try to do that same trade on Madden, and they gave him a red bar, it wasn't even close. The Texans got robbed, and then on top of that, they traded for Lindavi, oh, oh, I forgot his name, Tunsil, the Dolphins left tackle, and Kenny Stills to the Dolphins for a 2020 first round pick, a 2021 first round pick, like two first round picks and one second round pick. You're telling me they got that? We could have traded Trent for that. Oh my goodness. I understand we traded, I understand that we didn't uh, trade him to New England because the New England first round pick was basically an early second, but when it comes to the Dolphins and Texans, the, we could have brought, we could have took that from the Texans. My goodness. And this show, the Texans are trying to win now. They don't care about the future. They're trying to win now with Deshaun Watson, with DeAndre Hopkins, with JJ Watt. They want to win now. But my God, I don't understand why Bruce Allen is keeping this guy. It doesn't make any sense. We, he literally lied on television saying that Trent was going to come back. He is not coming back, coming back. D'Angelo Hall literally told him that I'm not playing week one. I don't understand why we're keeping him. They gave away two first round picks and a second for that Tunsil dude, left tackle. And arguably, Trent Williams, when he's healthy, the top three left tackle or the best tackle in the NFL. And Kenny Stills, they were about to, the Dolphins were about to cut Kenny Stills and they somehow get three draft picks. Not yet any draft picks, two first rounders in one second. The Dolphins are set. They're going to tank next year. And they're probably going to get two or two with a top five pick. It's incredible, man. I don't understand this guy, Bruce Allen, man. This guy is a joke. Still, I, fire Bruce Allen in the chat, guys. I don't understand why this guy is in office. He must be really good buddies with Dan. It just doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. My God, why we're keeping Trent. But besides that, um, Josh Doxson, it was good knowing you. No, I wasn't really. Had a few catches. The only few highlights that I remember from Josh was... I remember in his rookie year, 2016, they were against the Cowboys. He had like a long 60-yard pass, which was underthrown by Kirk Cousins. He also had an amazing catch against Seattle, which eventually won us that game. And had one against the Raiders, jump ball. Had a good catch against the Cowboys at Dallas. He had some highlights. There was also, and people, are, a lot of people are saying that we knew Doxon wasn't going to be good against that game in Kansas City a couple nights ago on Monday night when he dropped that ball in the end zone. And if he caught it, he would have, we would have won the game. Yeah, guys. So bye to Doxon, bye to Samaje. Hopefully, Cam Sims. If I don't want, I don't want anybody to get injured. But if someone gets injured, we pick up Cam Sims. He's still on the practice squad, and he can ball out. Don't know why we're keeping Trent. Playing Philly week one. Sorry for a late video, guys. It's pretty much it. Football is back, baby. And it's better than ever. <laughs> I'm, pro I'm part of two fantasy leagues this year, so that's going to be pretty fun. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Hail to the Wizards. Hail to the Redskins. Hail to the Capitals. And hail to the Nationals. We got to support all DC teams. All right, y'all. Peace.